Hey everyone, Scott. This is a follow-up video to my original review of the Verizon 5G um, home internet gateway. Um, and just after receiving it, uh, we were going on a, a scheduled vacation. So I thought, well, let's take it along and, and see how well it does. Um, didn't buy it for that purpose. Wasn't sure if it'd work at all, um, but it does in fact. And you know, if you've ever been to one of these um, beautiful places like this one in Zephyr Cove in Tahoe, uh, cell service can sometimes be non-existent or sketchy. Uh, this park promises Wi-Fi. Of course, that doesn't work. No surprise there. So let's take a look. I set it up inside. We have full hookups here. So it's currently plugged into the outlet on the wall, but the adapter here is a 12 volt uh, one. So it's definitely possible to connect it um, directly to the 12 volt supply in your trailer. So it's a nice five inch cube. Um, it's not weatherproof um, and it can't go in direct sunlight either. So you're not gonna be able to stick it on your roof. Don't try that. On the back there, that's where you connect the power supply. And there's also two LAN connections if you wanted to hook up something on ethernet. It is a Wi-Fi 6 router as well, um, so it's uh, great coverage. It works obviously in the, in the trailer and outside. It does work um, really well. So let's run some speed tests and uh, see how well it performs. Before I run a test here in Tahoe, let me show you a test that I did at home uh, using the 5G ultra wideband network. And you can see the, the speeds are really impressive. Almost 300 meg download and almost uh, around 20 meg upload, very fast. But of course that 5G ultra wideband coverage is new. It's still being built out. And uh, so these red dots on the map represent where you can get it. And while it is constantly changing, uh, it's not available uh, everywhere. So when you're outside of that area, what's it going to do? So if we take a closer look at Tahoe, you see the dark red areas on the left, that's 5G ultra wide band. Then the sort of mid red color is what they call 5G nationwide. And then finally, the lighter red color is LTE. So I was able to log in to the router. Um, this is a screenshot and confirm that at the campsite, I was only getting 4G. LTE. So of course it's slower, um, but let's take a look. So on the left side, these are results of speed tests that I ran on my Verizon phone using LTE. And on the right, here were the tests that I ran on the same phone, but when it was connected over Wi-Fi to the Verizon 5G internet gateway. And as you can see, it was faster every time. But there's one crucial thing to know, and that is that this is designed as a home internet service. And the terms and conditions do say that you have to use it at home. Now, I used it hundreds of miles away from home, uh, but there's no guarantee that that would keep on working. Perhaps they crack down on it if you constantly use it away from base. I don't know. So with that said, I'm going to close. I'm going to point you to my main uh, review where I go into great detail about the experience using it at home on the 5G uh, ultra wideband service. Proved very reliable for conferencing, for streaming TV, and really all my internet access. So check it out and uh, do subscribe because it's going to make updates uh, in the future. And uh, you might find some of my other videos interesting as well. Thanks for watching.